Can you multiply three numbers? Think about this question during the lesson. What does a row mean? In which direction does a row go? A row goes across. Look at the quilt sections in the picture. How many rows are there in each quilt section? There are two rows in each quilt section. How many factors are in this quilt example? There are three factors in this example. There are three sections, each containing two rows of four squares. Drew has to join three sections of a quilt. Each section has two rows with four squares in each row. How many squares in all are in these three sections? What are the three factors you should use? The three factors are 3, 2, and 4. You can multiply to find the total for an array. How do you think multiplying three factors will be different from multiplying two factors? When you multiply three factors, you will have to multiply twice. When you multiply two factors, you have to multiply only once. One way to solve this is to find 3 times 2 first. By grouping 3 times 2, you get 6 rows with 4 squares in each row. What is the answer? Select your answer. There are 24 squares in the quilt. Using this first method, what did you multiply to find the total number of rows? You multiply the two rows in each quilt section by three quilt pieces. After multiplying 2 by 3 to obtain 6 as the total number of rows, by what number do you multiply 6 in order to find the total number of squares? You multiply 6 rows by the 4 squares in each row. Another way to solve this is to compute 2 times 4 first. By grouping 2 times 4, you get 3 sections with 8 squares in each section. There are 24 squares in Drew's quilt pieces. Using this second method, what total did you find? When you multiply 2 times 4, you find the total number of squares in one quilt section. Then what total do you determine when you multiply 3 times 8? When you multiply 3 times 8, you determine the total number of squares in 3 quilt pieces. What property says that you can change the grouping of the factors and the product will be the same? The associative grouping property of multiplication says that you can change the grouping of the factors and the product will be the same. You know now how to multiply with three factors. How would you multiply 5 times 6 times 7? Try it yourself.